What happened in San Diego's real estate market in April 2024? Well, the numbers are out and all signs are pointing north, which means our market is increasing. Let's dive into the numbers and a couple surprising downtrends that we're going to talk about coming up. If you are new here, my name is Chris Spade at Keller Williams Realty, and I make all these videos to help you make sense of the real estate market. If you would do me a huge favor, please click the subscribe button. Also, click that little bell so you can be notified every every single time we drop fresh new content. Also comment below, I wanna hear what you think is happening in the real estate market. And please don't forget to share this video with someone who you think might find value in it. Now, as I mentioned, most of the numbers are pointing north. There's a couple numbers that are going a little bit south, but nothing to worry about in what's happening in the overall real estate market. So let's dive into the numbers and check things out. In March of 2024, the median price for a home in San Diego County was $862,500. Now that number has jumped up to $899,450. That is a significant difference between the one month price differential. Now, as we look at the average price for a home in San Diego County, last month in March of 2024, it was $1,109,000 that has also jumped to just over $1,172,000, which means all signs, like I said, are pointing north. Now, part of the reason for this happening is because it is spring and there are more people putting their homes on the market. And now is the time where there's a lot of buyers out. So let's go ahead and take a look at some more numbers. Here's a number that will shock you. This just proves what I just said about about people being out buying. Last month, it took 31 days, an average of 31 days for homes to sit on the market before it went under contract. Last month in April, that dropped to 27 days. That's a significant drop, and that is a drop we like to see. That is one of those southward drops where we want to see the number going down. That means your home is on the market less days before entering contracts. So if your home is priced well, that's what's gonna happen. I had one just a couple of weeks ago. We went into escrow. We were on the market for eight days. We wanted to leave the house on the market for eight days before entering contract. And we ended up with 16 offers on that house. Now the price per square foot has also gone up in March of 2024. It was $637 per square foot and it has jumped to $600 and $53 a square foot. That is pretty significant. Again, the month over month numbers are trending upward. Now the number of active listings on the market in March of 2024 was 3,469. That jumped up a little bit to 3,605. Now remember, those active listings are carrying over from the previous month before. So that's just the overall number of active listings that were on the market. Now the number of new listings that came to market in March of 2024 was 2,902. That number has dipped just slightly to 2,763. Now I believe part of the reason for that that happening is there's a lot of cash transferring right now and there are a lot of cash offers being made on property so if you are interested in getting a cash offer on your home please comment below or you can reach me at 619-818-2992 and we can make that happen for you now this number is also trending down and that is the number of pending sales so in march of 2024 the number of pending sales was 2250 and that dropped down to 2035 again that is a significant drop but nothing to be alarmed about because if homes are priced aggressively the prices of homes are going up and as I mentioned before there is this distribution of wealth that is going on so there is a lot of cash transactions that are taking place here in our county now the number of sold homes in March of 2024 was 2087 and then that dipped down to 1932 for April of 2024 again nothing to be alarmed about we just want to keep an eye on these numbers. But if you are thinking about selling a home, please do not be alarmed by these numbers because it's nothing that you need to freak out about. This is just kind of what happens in this market. It is spring, so it's a little bit weird, but we just started the spring housing market. So now we are gonna be rolling into the summer. And remember, there is never a bad time to sell a home or buy a home in San Diego anyway. Now, one number that has jumped up just a little bit, and that is the number of shows. So if you are buying a 
a home, the number of homes that you see before you are able to buy a home that jumped from three to five. I think a lot of people would argue with that number that it's about double that before you can get an offer accepted because if a home is priced very well in the county, it is going very, very quickly. So please tell me what you think in the comments below. What do you think is happening in the San Diego real estate market? I'd love to hear from you. And if you are interested in selling a home, buying a home, or investing in some real estate, feel free to reach out. My calendar link is below. You can book a discovery call with me and I would love to go over that with you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.